folks. Uh, so yesterday, August 17th, uh, 2024, I set up the C-Star S50 uh, Smart Telescope for solar viewing. So what, does, what set this apart was the fact that uh, I did this solar testing um, after the uh, software version 2.0 and firmware 2.95 came out about a week ago. Now, last weekend, I did set up the C-Star for deep space um, observing and testing. Um, <clears throat> and, and everything seemed to work pretty well. But I wanted to test uh, the C-Star on solar and tonight or tomorrow night um, for the, the full moon. Um, I'll give the full moon a, a, a test as well. But this video will show you some of the things that you can expect to see uh, with regard to uh, the new software update. Uh, it, it's as it's changed the look and, and feel as it's going to a target. I kind of like the change personally. Um, it gives it a little bit, a little bit more class. Um, but at the same time, it also does what some of the other smart telescopes do uh, when it's going to a uh, a new a new target. Um, I do think at this point it's any better or any worse than the previous version of the software. I tend to have the same issue um, with regard to consistent getting to the sun by itself. I had the same issue before. Not that it was a major issue. Um, sometimes you've got to restart the C-Star app uh, or restart, restart the C-Star itself, the mount, that is. And so it's not really, um, operationally speaking, it's not uh, a big difference. It's not a big improvement, but it didn't make the situation worse. Uh, as far as my experience goes. Um, so with that being said, let's look at uh, how the C-Star operates. All right, so I've tried a side-by-side -side view, uh, the left being the C-Star on the, my little pad and on the right, the sun coming into view. And this is one of the new features of the update uh, this is what happens when you go to any new target or any target using the C-Star app. And the video on the left will have stopped. Um, but the uh, image on the right is actually um, going to get the object centered for us. So we just showed you how the C-Star, uh, using the C-Star app uh, and working with the C-Star mount will uh, center and find the sun. Um, it does this all by itself. Sometimes um, the, low, the finding isn't always successful and you got to help it out. Uh, some, sometimes you have to do... Um, a calibration of the uh, of its sensors. The first thing after this is I want to put a square on the sun by just clicking on it, and I'm going to click autofocus. This ensures that the sun spots will be in really good focus for me, and you also see surface detail. And so the second thing I'm going to do is try to you see this. You might see a brightening in the center here. I'm going to try to adjust for that. So I'm just going to try to bring it down a little bit. What I'm looking for is more of a consistent uh, color of the sun throughout without that really intense brightening. So I'm just kind of going to experiment here. I don't want it too dark, um, so I'm going to try with that, and I 
I'm going to go, uh, I've got to put it, let me just click on this again, this plus and minus here, and I'm going to select, I'm just going to take a quick photo, all right, and I'm going to put it in video, and now I can click on raw, which will give me the best uh, video recording uh, uh, quality. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to press the video and we're recording it. So here we have a, a video of the uh, sun showing the sunspots at both 1 and 2x magnification. And uh, we will also show uh, 4x uh, magnification of the sunspots as well with the ZWO C-Star app. So here we have the final image with the areas of this, where the sunspots are, are identified. And here are some final results uh, using the Astro Essentials uh, with the Bader solar film. I think this uh, solar filter has uh, really improved the solar imaging uh, using the C-Star. And here's the final result that I will post uh, in, as an individual file later. Uh, well, that's it for this presentation, folks. I hope you enjoyed it, and clear skies, and have a great week ahead. Bye-bye now.